Yeah, good evening, Dasha. Hello. From Nigeria. Nice I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. What time is it in Nigeria? It's 12 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the call. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Tasha. You're welcome. How long have you been with Tradera? Okay, I started them um, last week. So this is like my second week here. So okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, st I'm still learning. I'm not still understand words. I'm, I'm, I'm getting something after all. Awesome, awesome. Well, Forex is like a big elephant and, you know, you got to take it one bite at a time. So the reason and just I'll just say welcome to everyone. And the reason that we created this class was um, all the services that Tradera has to offer a magnificent back office to teach you everything you need to know about trading, live trading sessions. Um, the reason that we created this class was to sort of introduce you to some of the concepts that you're gonna see on the live calls and that you're gonna see in the back office, um, just so that uh, you won't be intimidated and feel overwhelmed because it's easy to feel that way with so much information coming at you. So this is a nice and relaxed atmosphere where we can give you a little bit of, of information and kind of help transition you into all the wonderful things that uh, Tradera has to offer. So welcome everyone. What you're looking at uh, on the screen is our new and improved and updated website. And I like to start off each class just to make sure that everyone's seen it. Um, we won't dive into the, the back office today, but I just wanna highlight a few things under services because it's a really good way to, to introduce Tradera to someone who wants to learn how to trade and or build a business. So here on the main page, if I scroll down, you can see that Tradera is a financial, it specializes, um, it's a financial services company, but it specializes in trading education. So that's Tradera, you know, in just a short phrase or two. But you can meet the founders, Cody and Easton. You're going to hear Megan talk a lot about them. These are our very young um, CEOs and they are in um, Texas. Okay, so then I wanna point your attention to services. Four main um, aspects that Jadera offers, uh, really three. So the Trade Academy, if I click on that, allow my screen a chance to, to catch up. This is uh, what we like to call our back office. And it has um, basically A to Z training, everything you need to know to learn how to trade. The cool thing, and it speaks to our owners, Cody and Easton are traders. They know how to trade. They've been through all the, the pitfalls. You know, they are successful traders. And they are the ones in the back office who go through all the videos. And what I like about the videos is that they introduce the concept and then they jump right into the charts. So it's very practical. And that's important because three and a half years ago when I started my trading career, I studied videos for six months, six straight months. Then I attempted to open my, I don't even know if I did a demo account. I think I went live and realized I didn't even have a strategy. I had just spent six months learning about Forex, but it didn't mean that I knew how to trade. So I was so very pleased with the Tradera back office. I've been through about 95% of it. And the owners of the company, Cody and Easton, will introduce a concept, go straight to the chart. So uh, they really are teaching you how to trade. So just know that you know the live classes that you go to, they don't replace jumping back here um, into your back office. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to go through those modules because that's really, uh, this is what you're paying for. And it's really where you get the, the in-depth knowledge. All the live classes and the live sessions will make so much more sense if you go through the back office. Now, there are a lot of sections back there. Make it a goal based on how much time you have. Maybe you do one module a week. Maybe you do, maybe it takes you two weeks to go through a module, depending on 
what, how much time that you have, but start at the top, work your way down and definitely include that as, as, um, as you're learning how to trade. All right. So I said a lot about the trade Academy, the trade alerts, We'll show you tonight um, how to set up your demo account, how to take the Tradera trade alerts that are sent out. You can take those in your demo account. You can take those in your live account, okay? Um, oh, they've changed it. Trade sessions. So Tradera has hired a master trader. His name is Derek Conway. So you can find his last his live sessions in the back office and you can join live Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of every week at 8 p.m. Eastern. So that's 8 p.m. Eastern. They last about uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, sometimes an hour, an hour and a half. Derek is a six to seven figure master trader. He loves what he does. He's an excellent instructor. He offers one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions on the side. I've taken them. My team has taken his um, personal sessions. And at his live classes, he will mark up charts. He loves to draw the zones and show you how to trade from zone to zone so that you can make money every day. So me and my team are there um, as often as we can be. Um, he may mark up seven to 10 charts and you take a couple of those, go into trading view, which we'll talk about in a little bit, match up your zones to his and look for uh, the appropriate entry to trade from zone to zone. Now that takes a little bit of, of practice and rehearsing and going to his classes over and over and over and over again. Taking your own trades is, um, you know, that's not something that you'll learn how to do in a couple of days. So when you go to his sessions, just take your notebook, just be prepared to, to be there um, night after night and let it really um, sink in because he's a really excellent uh, instructor. All right. Um, I'll take a look at that trade strategies. That's new before I speak about that one. All right, so that is Tradera in a nutshell. And again, the purpose of this class is just to give you some introductory concepts to make everything else go a lot smoother. So what I'll do is take the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, normally I talk about something new and or important. And then for anyone, um, for every session, I'll um, pose a question in the chat. And normally we have at least 20 to 25%, sometimes higher of the class who has not set up their demo account yet. So we'll go through those steps. All of these recordings are on my YouTube channel. So if you go into the chat, I will post it there again. And hello to everyone that's saying hello in the chat. On the YouTube channel, you'll see Forex Basics. So that's beginning to end recording of all the classes. And then I like to add short two to three minute videos. So I'll kind of intermingle um, those videos in there as well. So if I go too fast or if you, if you miss something, um, just go check out the, the video and it's all there for you. All right, so I'll make sure everyone is muted. And we're going to jump into TradingView. Now TradingView, let me explain what it is for just a second. It's a free website and app, and we use it to analyze our charts. Um, we don't take our trades from there. We're gonna take our trades in an app called MetaTrader 4. And when I go through the demo steps, I'll show you how to get that and how to use it. But trading view, and let me share my screen so you guys can see it. We're gonna be spending a lot of time um, in trading view because I wanna make sure that everyone is comfortable with the basics. So there are a lot of intermediate things that we can talk about in TradingView, like how to add indicators and some other fancy stuff. But I feel like I wanna to try to get everyone all caught up first. So I wanna make sure that everyone has a free TradingView account. So on my website, 
on the YouTube site, there is a video for how to sign up for TradingView and it'll walk you through those basics. So make sure you um, sign up for TradingView and get your free account. Now, some of you may be thinking, I just wanna take the Tradera trade alert. You know, Tradera is um, get in where you fit in. Some people just wanna take the trade alerts and just be happy with that. Others really want to learn how to trade and be able to take their own trades um, for themselves. So I want to cater you know, to everyone. If you're in that first category and you just want to take the trade alert, learning trading view can help you do just a little bit of basic analysis so that you can feel better about the trade. But if you just want to learn how to copy and paste and take the trade, we'll show you that in a few minutes and um, just know that trading view is there for you. It's optional for those who want to take that next step and just begin to do some introductory analysis as to if you want to take the trade or not. All right, so here is trading view. I have changed my color scheme up a little bit. So let's just talk about some basics. But first, I want to do a poll. So we have about 62 people in class at the moment. Put a five in the chart if you have not gone to TradingView at all yet. Let me know if TradingView is brand new to you and you have... Um, not created your free account yet. All right. I just want to see how many people are brand new to it. Great. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. So, okay. We, and we have a couple more coming in. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, okay. That's, that's quite a bit good. So we, that lets me know that I need to um, spend some time on the basics. Now put a six in your chart if you have signed up for your free TradingView account, but you're a little sketchy on the tools and how to draw your support and resistance. So you've taken that first step to get your free account, but you don't really know how to use it very well because it looks confusing. And that's what I thought too. So the class is just about split between you haven't really gone to TradingView, but most of you have gone there and gotten a little lost because it's just a little tricky to use. That's what, um, that's what I wanted to know. Great. All right. So let's start at the beginning. We are in TradingView. There's actually only a few key features that you need to know how to do because most of us who are using um, TradingView, we do the same thing all the time, okay? We're doing the same steps all the time. So I wanna show you where uh, those features are. First, in the upper left corner, I'll make sure everyone is muted. All right, so here in the upper left corner, this is where you place the Forex pair that you want to um, analyze. So right now we are looking at AUD, CAD. The AUD stands for the Australian dollar and the C CAD stands for the Canadian dollar. The only other thing that you need to enter is the time frame. So if I click here, we click off, I TradingView will give me all of these options to look at price. I can look at it from the one hour perspective. And what that means is that every candle represents one hour of time. If I want a broader view, more of a high level view, then I can look at the four hour. The four hour means every candle represents four hours of time. If I want an even broader view to look at more data, I can come down to the daily. Every candle represents price for one day. Now, if I wanna come down 
Um, and yes, uh, Kizian, this video and all the others, other ones will be on my YouTube site once it's um, uploaded tomorrow. If I want to look um, at a very small section of time, then I'll come down to the 15 minutes. So every candle represents 15 minutes of time. So the popular time frames, and I'll write this down, most traders are looking at the following time frames. The four hour, the one hour, the 15 minutes. Those are the really popular ones and sometimes the daily, or you can use a D for daily. So the daily, the four hour, the one hour, and the 15 minutes. So when you see this drop down, don't let all these, op all these options um, throw you off. Just um, pick either the one hour, the four hour, the 15 minute, or the daily. And those are normally the, the four time frames that are the most commonly used. So let's start at the hour. So what you're seeing, and let me use this arrow, what you're seeing here, this list, this column of numbers, this is actually the price for this currency pair. Okay, so the prices are shown here on the right. Here's something else that's interesting about TradingView. Notice this price that's highlighted um, in purple in the background. That's current price. So right now, looking at this arrow, we are currently on this candle. Uh, let's use an up arrow. We are currently looking at this purple uh, candle here. The current price is 95349.95350. It's fluctuating. And this time frame lets us know that there are 42 minutes left until this candle is complete. So after 42 minutes, then you will have a new candle. And so as price goes up, the price will go higher here. As price falls, the price will go lower. Now you can customize your candles to represent any color possible. So if I do a right click and I go to settings and I go to symbol, the most um, popular colors are to use a green for when price is going up. I'll make sure everyone is muted out. Okay, and then to use a red color when price is going down. So this is the look and feel that you will commonly see, but you know, if you wanna customize your chart, you can have um, any set of colors that you want. So typically we'll use green, to mean that price is moving up, and we'll use red to mean that price is coming down. So now you know the basics of TradingView. You come here and you type in the, the currency pair that you're looking at, and you choose a time frame. I've shown you what the most common time frames are. And then you're going to take a look at price. Now, at any given time, as you move through different time frames, use this trick right click reset chart and it'll give you a, a nicer view of the candles okay so the other thing that i want to cover is the basics of drawing your support and your resistance now the back office does an outstanding job. If you watch Support and Resistance, I believe that's the name of a module, as well as Market Structure, that those um, will change your trading life. It gives you such an overview of what price does. So be sure to um, hit your back office and watch those videos. I'll just give you just a taste of, of, of what you'll see. So what 
the starting place when you're, if you're uh, beginning to analyze a pair, is you want to know where are your support and resistance lines or your support and resistance zones. Why um, are those concepts important? It's because that's where price likes to go and it's like, it's, it's where price will be coming from and it's where price will be traveling to. So in terms of take profits, and Derek teaches this um, in his class, if you know where your zones are, then you know where to uh, take your trades from and you know where to set your take profits. So let me show you an example. So just looking at this chart, I'll make sure everyone's muted. Okay, so just looking at this chart, I want to point your attention to where are some places that the bottom of the candles seem to commonly fall? Where is price resting? I'm noticing this area here. So a quick way to do your support and resistance is to go to the trend line tools come down to horizontal line, and then just click it where you want it to rest. Okay, so what do you notice? Let's use the up arrow. I'm gonna mark how many times price came to this area. Here, and then here, and then here, and then here. And then here again, it came here. Um, price came to this purple line here and here and here. And then let's make a down arrow. Price also came to this spot here and then here and then here again. So when you find an area where price keeps coming back to, either it's sitting on that price or it worked its way up to that price, that's what you would call an area um, of support if it's sitting on that area. It's an area of resistance if it's reaching up and touching it. So in this case here, we will call this, go to my text box, we will call this an area of support because it's like a floor. Price is resting on it. Okay. So the opposite of a support would be a resistance. So let me take my line tool, horizontal line, and just in one click, I can mark that area. Now that's going to be an area of resistance because let me type it out here. We're going to call this resistance because it's like a ceiling. Price just didn't seem to want to get above it. Okay, so support and resistance. So all you're doing is looking at your chart and finding the common areas where price either didn't want to fall below or didn't want to go above. And if you want to change the settings for it, you can click on the line. You can right click it and go to settings. We can make the line, um, we can make it blue. We can, make, we can make the color deeper. We can use a thicker line. Okay, you can use one color for your resistance another color for your support. That's what Derek does. So let's make, um, let's use an orange and we'll make it a very thick line. Okay, so that's like the quickest way to do your support and your resistance. But sometimes you'll notice that price is, the resistance or support is more like a zone. It's not just one single area. So some people like to do their support and resistance using a rectangle because you can have more of an area there. So if that's you, you would come down to 
the, the shape tool, click on rectangle, and then you can drag and click a rectangle, press it down. And so I'm going to use it for this area here. So the tops of these candles, when you see a skinny line sticking out the top or the bottom, that's the wick of the candle. And sometimes you want to include that wick in your support and resistance area. So a rectangle tool is great for that. So I'm going to right click on it. I like to, that's the wrong thing. Let's select it. Right click settings. Now, I like to um, keep my opacity, the how deep the color is. I like to keep it low so that my candlesticks can still show. See, if I make this 100%, now I'm actually blocking my candles and I can't see what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm gonna put that pretty light so I can see, still see through the zone. Uh, you can change the color. You can make it a yellow or a light green. You may want to make the color a little deeper. And here's a trick. If you want to extend the rectangle, go to coordinates. And I learned this from Derek. So what you want, Hold on, make sure everyone's get it. What you want to do is make sure that the numbers here have four digits. Doesn't matter what four digits they are. And you want to make sure that one is negative. So now that rectangle will extend all the way to the right and all the way to the left and you won't have to drag it or drop it um, to extend it yourself. So that is basically uh, the tricks for drawing your support and resistance. You can use this tool here for the horizontal line, or you can come to down and use a rectangle tool. Okay, let me go to the chat and see if there are uh, any questions. Okay, yeah, I was able to mute them. Now, how do you identify the support and resistance? You're looking for those areas, uh, Oh, here's the undo. This left arrow, very important. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just undo. You're looking for these areas um, where I have these arrows marked, where price just continually um, comes back to, okay? And so the back office for support and resistance is gonna really go into, into depth for that. All right. Yeah, and, and, and don't worry, Jonathan, we will keep going over this. Uh, Trading view is, is, it was new to me. So yeah, it's definitely a tool that um, we will keep going over. Now, place in the chat, and that'll let me know, because um, we're getting close um, on time. How many people um, still need to create your demo account and learn how to enter the Tradera Trade Alert? If that's you, can you place um, an eight in the chat? Great, I wanna see how many people need to know how to set up their demo accounts. That's what I figured, yep. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, the next part of the class, I'm gonna go over um, three quick um, slides and then we're gonna get to our Q&A and then you can ask me questions and I'll do my best to answer. So because um, we do have some people that need to know their, know how to set up that demo account, let me switch gears for a second. So the next few videos that I'm going to share, they are under my, on my YouTube channel. Channel. If you go to playlist, it says start here and you will see um, all of these videos there. I'm going to go through it kind of quickly, but just know you can go on my site and get all the details. And Jonathan, we're going to answer that because we're going to talk about MetaTrader 4. So for your demo account, we're going to start here, hugosway.com forward slash demo dash sign up. Hugo's Way is just one of the popular brokers that a lot of traders use. Um, for your live account, you're going to have to choose a broker. And so I thought it would be easy to, um, it would help you to 
set up your demo account using a real broker just to get you more familiar with what it's like to communicate and go to your broker website. So for this class, we're going to be using Hugo's Way. There are other ones. Um, on this first page, here are some other common brokers. I like Hugo's Way, and I'll be showing you a whole bunch of screenshots to take the guesswork out of it for you. So fill out this information. Um, first and last name, email address. For leverage, use 500. Starting balance, you want to start small, so $1,000. When you hit submit, then Hugo's Way will send you a confirmation email that looks like this. Make sure you save it because you're going to need that demo account number and that trader password. That's how you're going to log into MT4. MT4 stands for Meta Trader 4. This is the app that we actually enter the trades. And in just a minute, I'll show you how to do that. So what you can do to make things a little simpler, you want to download MT4 on your phone and you want to take your trades on your phone. Yes, you can download MT4 on your desktop, on your computer, but the setup is a little bit more complex, a little bit more advanced. So to keep things simple, what you can do is check this email on your phone and then you can just in one click download MT4. Okay, um, for the person in the chat, remind me to come back to your question and I'll show you how to do that. All right. Yeah, you can have as many um, brokers um, as you want. Most of us have, have several. So that's the first step. The next step, now we're going to open up MT4 and show you how to connect to that demo account. Give my screen a chance to catch up. Okay, so let's start with the iPhone and then I'll do the example for the Android. So with the iPhone, you're gonna open up MT4 that you just downloaded. Bottom right corner, click on settings. Then next screen, click on new account. Now, you know, you can bypass the broker if you want and just use the demo account that MetaTrader 4 has for you. That's what the back office shows. The only reason I don't like that option is that it starts you with an account of $100,000. And it's just a huge number. When you start your live account here, you know, $50, $100, $200. So it's just more reasonable to work with those smaller numbers. So that's why we're going to select this second option log in to an existing account and now we need to choose the server so the brokers have like a demo one and one you use for your live account so type in hugo's way and select demo three that's what you'll use for your demo account that will take you to the login screen pull up that email from hugo's way demo account number goes in login trader password goes in password Make sure that save password is on, then you won't have to type this in the next time. Then click sign in. For the Android, it's a little different. When you open it up, go to the top left. Those three horizontal lines, it's called the hamburger icon. Click on that. Then click on manage accounts. Then click on the plus icon in the upper right. Just like we did with the iPhone, log into an existing account. Um, then type in Hugo's Way. Click on Demo 3. And just like we did with the iPhone, log in um, and password from that Hugo's Way email. Make sure that save password is checked off and you are in. Uh, for the person in the chat, um, yeah, I have a video on my YouTube site, how to open a live account using Hugo's Way and how to fund it using Cash App and Bitcoin. So that one will should have everything um, that you need. All right, the last slide that I wanna share and then we'll go into Q&A is how to um, actually take the Tradera trade alert. So, so far, um, yeah, let me answer the question in the chat. You can go to that Hugo's way uh, forward slash demo dash setup, setup as many times as you want. 
and you can do multiple um, demo accounts and they should send you um, a login each time. And so I'm going to, in the chat, paste the link for my YouTube site again, and that should take you right there. So last but not least, how to take the Tradera trade alert. So let's go through the steps for the iPhone and then we'll do the droid. So you open up your iPhone. Let's say the trade alert came in for CAD JPY, Canadian dollar against the Japanese yen, but you don't see it listed. No worries. Click on that blue cross icon in the upper right. Look for FX crosses. You may also see it under FX group or 4X, just depends on the phone that you have. And in this example, CAD JPY is the fourth entry down. Click on that uh, green circle, press done. Now CAD JPY is at the bottom of your list. Hold it down. When you do that, now you will see this pop-up menu. Click on trade. And here is the screen where we're going to enter the Tradera trade alert. So on the right, that's an example of how the trade alert looks, placing a buy on CAD JPY. So let's talk about um, what these parameters are and how you um, input them. Um, buy trade, you expect price to go up. That's why you're buying it. But what happens if price begins to fall? Sometimes there can be a major news announcement and it can just make a trade go in the opposite direction. For that reason and others, you always wanna have a stop loss set. A stop loss says, well, I'm expecting price to go one way, but if it goes the other, I only wanna risk so much. I only wanna lose a certain amount. So when price gets to that stop loss, MT4 will take you out the trade and you are no longer losing. You always wanna have that set. Now on a brighter side, let's say price is increasing, it's going the way you want it to go. Well, you don't want to stay in a trade forever because eventually price is going to turn around. So your take profit means, okay, I'm happy with my profit. MT4, take me out of the trade. Take my pips. Take my money and go home. Tradera will give you a choice of three take profits. If you're like me, you like to pip and dip, you may choose take profit one. 15, 20 pips, you'll get there um, with minimum risk and it won't take it'll take the least amount of time to get there in terms of the other take profits. If you're a little bit more patient, you want maybe more profit, maybe 50, 60 pips, you'll go for TP2. You have to choose one. And then for maximum profit, and it may take a day or longer, you'll go for uh, take profit three. So you'll just, that's why you have demo, experiment with um, all of them in your demo account and see what you're more comfortable with. So let's look at this screen. So stop loss, you just put your finger there, type it in, same for take profit. And the, so there are four things you need to do. First, let's talk about the lot size. Okay, so it'll be lot size, stop loss, take profit, and then buy and you're in the trade. But what is this um, lot size here? The lot size determines just how much um, money you'll make every time price moves um, a pip. Price is measured in terms of pips because we have all these different currencies. You have the dollar and the yen and the euro. Pips is what um, the, the measurement of each time price moves a different um, pip. So your lot size is determined by how much money is in your account. So the the rule is, and I'll put this in the chat, the general rule is 0 0.01 for every $100. So if you have a $200 account, your lot size will be 0 0.02. A $500 account, your lot size is 0 0.05. So for these demo accounts of $1,000, you can do 0 0.10. So that's it. Lot size, stop loss, take profit, hit buy, you are in the trade. And before we end, let's do this for the Android and then we'll go right to Q&A. So you open up MT4 on your Droid. You don't see CAD JPY. You click, 
you click on the plus arrow in the upper right. Click on FX group. We're not doing crypto pairs. We're not doing indices. None of those um, are beginner friendly. For the question in the chat, 0 0.01 is the smallest lot size that you can use. So you would use that for a $50 account as well. So click on FX group, find CAD JPY, hold it down. Here's your pop-up menu. It's a little different. It says new order. Remember the iPhone said uh, new trade or trade. So new order for the Android. And here is the screen. The lot size looks exactly the same, but there's no label for stop loss or take profit. I don't know why <laughs> the Droid made it so complicated. You'll just have to know that the black number at the bottom left, that's where your stop loss goes. And then this black number on the right, that's where your take profit goes. So lot size, stop loss, take profit, hit buy, and you are in the trade. All right, so remember all these videos will be um, there for you. I know I went kind of quickly um, at the end on my YouTube uh, channel. Let's switch over to Q&A. Um, mute yourself, talk to me, tell me what I can help you with. Type it in the chat, whatever you wanna do. Who's first? Tasha. Yes. This is Jackie. Um, hey, Jackie. On the trading view, the um, you know numbers on the right side, the prices on the right side, mm -hmm. mine are huge, and I and they're taking up too much space. I can't figure out how to get them back small. Really? Let me um, let me go back to trading view to see what could be going on there. Um, one second. Here we go. So what happens, Jackie, um, if you do a right click and then just reset chart? Um, Tristan, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Okay, try that. Are you, is your, um, you're doing this on your laptop, right? Or desktop? Yes. And laptop, yeah. Do you have a, a touch screen or no? No. Okay. Um, I think it has to do with your Zoom. So in my upper right, you're not on a Mac, right? No. Yeah, in my upper right, if I press these three dots and I zoom in, um, I think that would affect the size of the number. So it's probably a zoom issue. You probably um, not at a hundred percent zoom. Maybe you are zoomed in too big, like this. Is that what's happening? I think Jackie is on mute. Yeah, I think it's a zoom issue. So if you can just find that option on your computer and go back to a hundred percent, that should solve that problem for you. And for the, the there was someone in the chat who had a question about candlestick. Um, Right next to the, here's where the Forex pair is, here is where the time frame is. Right next to that, you have an option and you can show price as a bar, candles. I think the default may be line. So here, if you choose candles, then um, that should get you what you need for that question in the chat. Oh, and Kizian, glad to hear that. Um, I hope I'm saying your name correctly that is helping. All right, who's next? Any more questions? Or in the chat? Let me go back through the chat to make sure that um, I have answered everything. Um, the bottom of the screen, is that the date of the trade? Um, I know that there's a time. Here's something else that I can show you. Here at the bottom, if I click on this, you can set trading view based on your time zone. I know we have someone in Nigeria and we're probably in all the time zones all over the world. So you can definitely um, set trading view to um, be on your time frame. Um, 
Hi, Tasha. Hi there. Yeah. Um, I just want to ask you uh, if um, when you have, uh, I don't know if you have an iPhone, but uh, I do. when you actually, when you do the uh, MetaTrader on, mm -hmm. your, on your iPhone, and, and I have a live account already open with uh, Google's Way, uh -huh. but um, I only see the, the graphic of, um, I, don't see, I don't see the graphic of the, of the trade that I'm, that I'm actually placing. I always see this uh, New Zealand, New Zealand with USD. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but how 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 can I change that? So uh, how can I change actually to see uh, the 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 uh, the trade that I'm that I that I placed? Yeah. Okay. So let me share my screen and I'll go back to the taking the Tradera trade alert. Because like uh, like right now I have I have this uh, GBP and mm -hmm. USD already mm -hmm. going on since mm -hmm. since this morning. Yeah. But then when I when I see the chart on the uh, on the MetaTrader app on my phone, the the only chart that I see it says a M M15 and then it says NCD and USD. So I don't have that open. I don't know why it's there. Yeah. So look at the very bottom. I'm going to use this arrow here. If you click on trade, if you click on that icon at the bottom, that should show all of your running trades. Right. But how, mm -hmm. can, how, how can I see, you see uh, next to that, that it says chart? Yes. Uh, if I click there, the chart that I see is not the one that I placed. It's the oh, one that yeah. it says New Zealand something. Yeah. So what you want to do, go back to trade, click on that icon. And then okay. if you want to see the chart for that trade, hold right. it down, hold it down. And you're going to get another pop-up menu and sh you should see a chart option there. Oh, that's how yeah. I was. I was like killing myself. To oh, kill, no uh, worries. <laughs> no Man. worries. Glad to help okay. you with that. So you saying you saying that if I if I just hold the uh, the trade button? Mm -hmm. No, not not the okay. trade. Yeah, the trade icon at the bottom, and that'll show you all your running okay. trades. Then whichever one you want to look at, hold it down, and you'll see like a modify, delete, and you should see a chart option. Uh, it says chart. Yes, uh, chart. There you go. And the chart. Oh, and that's the chart for that option. Yep. You are the best. Oh, glad to help. <laughs> glad to help. There's a question. Yeah, no yes, worries. you are the best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. There's a question in the chat. Um, okay. The difference between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So we definitely want to use MetaTrader 4. And the way to... Um, the way to make sure you get MT4 and not MT5 is to actually download it from the broker. So if you're using like Hugo's Way demo account or a demo account from some other broker, that's why I walk you through those steps of downloading it on your phone from that Hugo's Way confirmation email. If you do it that way, you should avoid that um, MT4, MT5 issue. Um, another way to do it, like if you wanted to put MT4 on your computer, still go to Hugo's Way and download MT4 from the broker, and that will also um, work for you. I will the, uh, sure. On, sure. I'm, just, uh, I'm sorry. I just want to just to finish uh, uh, just one more thing. The, uh, uh -huh. When I actually opened the live account with Hugo, it mm -hmm. gave me an option to, to actually put a start with 50 uh, the margin, $50, $100, $200, $500, or something like that. Uh -huh. So uh, which one is the one that I was supposed to actually choose? Oh, in terms of how much you start your live account with? Yes, for the margin. Um, because the, it gave me like an option of uh, 50. It says how much I want to put as a balance. And then it says about, about the margin. So and it you says mean the, 50, lev the leverage, the leverage, the leverage. I'm sorry, the leverage. Yes, yeah, the leverage. you want the, the, the one to 500 is best. It'll give you the most room to be able to use the most of your money. Okay, that's yep. what I that's what I actually chose. Yep. Thank you. Yep. The same one. Hello, Tasha. Hey okay. there. Hello, Tasha. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. When you get the um, signal from um, um, Tradera, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. In there, there's all these additional um, notes that say use the proper um, risk management. So yes. I want to know about the risk management. It's really very important. Sure, it, is. it very is. Yeah, That's it is. Very, very, so I want to know. So there is a video on my YouTube channel, and it's in the get. It's in the start here um, playlist, and it says understanding um, the trade alert. And I talk a, a lot about the risk management in there. But basically, the risk management is that rule of point zero one for every hundred dollars. That's what risk management is. It means making sure you're using the correct lot size based on how much money you have in your account. And so let me explain it this way. If I take a trade and let's say it moves 100 pips, well, at point um, zero 0.01 and um, I'm making 10 cents for every um, pip. So a hundred pips, and let me write this in the chat, a hundred pips at 0.01 equals $10. That's how much I would make for that trade. Now, a hundred pips at 0.1 is a hundred dollars. A hundred pips on a trade at 1.0, which we call a standard lot, is $1,000. So every that's why the lot size won't be in the trade alert because it depends on how much money you have in your account, right? And so the risk, the danger as traders is, oh my gosh, if I go at a point one, I can make a lot more money. But if you lose that trade, you can blow your account. So that's what Tradera means by proper risk management. You have to oh. follow that rule. Now there's some wiggle room once you've been trading a while. You could it's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna blow your account if you do a 0.02 at hundred dollars. There is some wiggle room, you know what I mean? But in general, in general, that's the 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 standard for beginners. Okay. And it's, and it's very you. important because it's, it's just real. Some people are risk takers and they say, well, if I just use a high, higher lot size, I can double my account. And this is true if you win it. But, you know, as Megan says, we're not in Vegas. We're not gambling. We want to use proper risk management and just grow your account, you know, in time. Great question. Yeah. Thank you, then, Tasha. That was a nice question. Glad, nice. glad. Glad to help you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. So guys, don't don't fall into that trap of wanting to um, grow your account too fast. It's because it's painful if you have um, it's called over leveraging. It's dangerous if you have a hundred dollar account and you go at a point one. Because what does that mean? That means that if you are in 20 pips of drawdown, you are in twenty dollars of drawdown and you have $100. And if you have Hugo's way, once you reach about $50 worth of drawdown, once you reach half, close to half your account, they're gonna close a trade and take, and you're just gonna have to take that loss. Brokers have the option to close a trade at any time. Uh, Tash? Yes. Tasha, quickly, um, Carl here. Um, okay. uh, based on what you just said, uh, qu the question just now, mm -hmm. uh, is it safe to say that a 1.0 lot size is the equivalent of um, a 1.0 lot size for, um, is it equivalent of about $10 per pip? Exactly. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. That's every trader's dream is to be able to, you know, trade at a standard. <laughs> I, I've done it before. I've won. I've lost. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if, I, so if I go for 20 pips, if I go for 20 pips, um, I'm looking at um, $200 either gain or loss. Yes. At a standard lot. lot. Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Okay, you so You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, M MT5, 
I don't, I don't use MT5. I've always been told just to use MT4. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure you use MT4, delete MT5 so that you don't confuse yourself. It's a lot to learn already. All right, guys, we got a few more minutes. Any more questions? Monica, what, what happened? What happened with that lot size? Was it a mistake? Because we, we've all made that mistake before where you put in the wrong lot size by mistake and then realize, oh, no, I've used the wrong lot size. Sorry to hear about that major mistake. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. We've all done it, especially with MT4. Um, if you have multiple accounts, MT4 likes to help you in quotes and use the same lot size that you used before. So sorry, sorry to hear about that. You are not alone. I have done it myself. And I, I wish I could tell you I only made that mistake in my first few months. Nope, <laughs> I've done that um, recently. So sorry to hear that. Um, under the FX crosses, do you have to only choose CAD JPY? No, that was just an example of the trade alert that I was showing on the screen. If you're choosing UJ, USD JPY or AJ, it just, it matches the trade alert. So whatever foreign pair, uh, foreign currency pair you're using. All right. Okay. Yes. You're still taking questions there? Absolutely. Wonderful. If you, as a newcomer going over to live, want to consider um, maybe three pairs of um, currencies that mm -hmm. you'd want to conservatively trade on, mm -hmm. um, would you care to offer some kind of suggestion as to what yeah. type of pairs to look for? Yeah, I'll put those in the chat. And these are the ones that I've heard um, um, Master Trader Derek Conway use. He likes NZD USD for beginners um, in you. He likes um, AUD JPY. I've heard him recommend Euro uh, JPY. Yeah, so those are some good pairs um, for beginners. Oh, as well as AUD USD. Now, here's something else um, that you need to think about. You <sighs> pairs move based on their geographic location. So let's take USD JPY. USD because it's um, here in America will move. USD pairs are going to move the most in New York session, eight a.m. to five. PM Eastern. JPY will move, JPY pairs are going to move a lot in the Asian session, 7 PM Eastern to like 2 AM Eastern. So when I first started trading, I chose USD JPY because I could go to work, come home and have the evening to really study USD JPY. So your, um, you know, the London session is when I'm asleep. So the London session is around 2 a.m. Eastern till 8 p.m., 8 a.m. Eastern while I'm sleeping. And when I just wake up, it's ending. So I do not trade uh, like a Euro um, GBP. Uh, your Euro pairs, your GBP pairs, those all move in the London session. So you, you, but if it's a Euro JPY, that's okay because the JPY means it's going to move in your Asian session. So you also may want to pick a pair based on the time that you want to trade. If you're on the other side of the world and London session is your session, then definitely, you know, pick a Euro pair or a GBP pair. Be careful with GBP pairs. They are not really beginner friendly. GBP pairs have strong 50 uh, pip pullbacks. So GBP pairs are, are not beginner friendly. Again. All righty. Well, everyone, I will put this recording, I'll probably get it to my YouTube channel um, by tomorrow morning. I and my team are going to head on over to um, Derek Conway's class. So log into your back office. They're really tightening down on that. They only want active members to be to have access to those. So they want everyone to log into your back office. Um, go under live session and there's a join link um, and that will connect you to the Zoom. So glad to help everyone. Um, yeah, I, I, I love teaching a class. Uh, it's a lot to learn. So 
keep coming and, you know, we'll just keep answering questions so we can, you know, get everyone trading and, and making money. And that is our goal. So Amen. all right. All right. Happy Tuesday. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you there. Okay. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. You undo. Thank you. You're welcome.